Girls, this is Mrs. Ott, and today we will be painting a really cute llama. Now this llama is not like any llama. Well, this is my llama. And I wanted to just show you, first of all, how cute he is. And just look at the eyelashes. I mean, and of course, you know, lots of fur. And well, this one has a little hat, which you could put or not. But the one that we are going to paint, on top of being super cute, is going to have a background with all the colors in the rainbow or on the color wheel. So let's get started. So let's look at a couple of llama pictures before we start. And here's a picture that shows you the environment where they live. So there they have mountains in the background. And we're also going to look at the colors of the llamas. So we have white llamas, some have spots of brown, we have brown llamas, and we have really dark brown or even black llamas. So they have really pretty big eyes and, you know, the kind of like also really tall ears and a long neck and lots of fur. Now they also have you know lots of colorful pompons and also like a saddle where they can carry lots of things and usually it's kind of a, a really bright fabric so we're going to incorporate a little bit of that in our painting and look at these two they're white llamas but they have lots of you know different colorful things on top of them so we're going to start with our watercolor paper and our pencil we're going to do a sketch of our llama so think about the space on your paper don't start your llama right here we're going to start kind of about here and remember to make your llama big but not too big because we do want some space for colors in our background so i'm going to start with two black two eyes and we will go back over this with Sharpie. So remember that when you're sketching with pencil, don't do it too um, too strong because if you want to erase, you can. I'm going to make a circle and inside this circle, I'm going to have a cute little nose and a smile or, you know, a mouse with a smile. Now remember how he, this llama is kind of very furry. So let's imagine that this is your fur. And then we have ears coming out. And then here is my other ear. And then I'm going to go down, make kind of a long neck. Because they do have long necks and here is the body so here is the back of the llama and let's see i'm going to add another bump here for the tail now i'm going to continue down here with my bumps and now we are sketching the body just about here now i'm going to add kind of a longer bump this will be one leg and this is part of the other leg. We will add the rest of the legs in just a little bit. And here is the belly. And here is another leg. I'm going to just do it like this for now. And then bumps, 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 fur. Okay. So now back here, we're going to have the other leg, the one that's behind on the other side showing up here. Now we're going to add, these are going to be part of the legs. Here we go. And we're going to put a little line right here. And now if we wanted to add, say, a little saddle and remember how I showed you the pictures that have lots of beautiful colors so it's kind of 
like a car a little carpet or a little blanket and in here we're going to add lots of colors in just a little bit so this is kind of our basic llama you know sketch now i'm going to go back over it with my black oil pastel i'm sorry my black sharpie and the first thing i'm going to do is you know put in my eyes much much better now he looks much more than like a llama and i'm going to go around and add all my black lines and i'm also going to add some small shorter little lines that suggests kind of the fur all around the body so i'm going to continue this and i'll see you in just a little bit added some details to my llama I've added a couple of lines here and small 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 lines to kind of imitate the fur so now we're gonna add our background which is what's behind the llama now remember I told you that they live in the mountains or near the mountains so the first line I'm going to do is kind of a line at the bottom which is the ground right here so this one is going to be behind the llama, so I skip over on the other side. Now behind here, I'm going to make some mountains, but I want to add lots of colors. So I'm going to make kind of lines. Now I start my line from the edge of the paper. It goes behind the llama, comes back here. Now imagine that I have another mountain right here. And this one is going to go again kind of here. And how about another one? So I'm going to continue like this. And maybe some will be kind of skinnier. But I'm trying to make them not too big because I want to add many colors in my mountains so perhaps another one that comes here and why am i adding so many colors because i'm an artist and i just want things to be super colorful sometimes you just make things as you want them to be not exactly as they are so maybe one more here one more and then I, I'm going to decide maybe I have a sun coming out right here. All right, now I'm going to add a few lines kind of for, kind of there's something on the ground here. So little patches. And then I'm going to start coloring just a couple things with my oil pastels. So these small details here i can make them really colorful either with paint or markers or oil pastels or even um you know pencils or anything that you have so i'm going to start and just add a few details with my oil pastel in just this part of the drawing before i start to paint so go ahead and do a couple, you know, fill this up with really colorful um my oil pastel I colored the little carpet here pink in my ears and my nose brown on the legs I added a little texture in green now can you note that I did not do the whole thing in green oil pastel 
just details because we're gonna paint over it and then I decided that it was sunrise so I could see the sun peeking behind the mountains and I added yellow and orange oil pastel now I'd like my mountains or hills to be really colorful so I'm gonna start at the top and this is sky at the top right here but let's start right here and make our way down so I'm thinking that if the sun is here this one is probably going to be just about the same color kind of reflecting the color of the sun so I'm going to make this one yellow I'm going to take my large paintbrush add some water and paint with water just one section of the hill and then make sure you swish so I'm going to add a lot of paint on my paintbrush so that there's a lot of paint and then I'm going to come here and because we have water first it really really glides now I'm going to go to my next hill and I'm thinking what about orange to make it really bright and pretty so be careful that you don't want them to touch otherwise it will spread into the other hill so I'm going to add water and and I'm going to go to my orange and I'm going to do the same thing swish 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 my paintbrush so there's lots of paint and do you see how it spreads so I'm just going to hope that it's not going to touch my yellow so that each hill has basically a separate color so I'm going to try to make my colors as they would be on the color wheel which is next to each other so I know that there's yellow and then there's orange now what is after orange let's see do you know what it oh look it just spread in here that's okay so what's after orange I think it's red so I'm gonna go down and switch colors every time I have a hill and when I get to the bottom I am going to add some different greens I've decided that I want my little llama to be white so he or she is going to stay white and at the very end I will paint my sky that could be blues or shades of blues and purples we'll see so I will see you in a little bit 